So, um, Emily, I have to tell you that when I, I posted that we were talking to you, that that was maybe the most attention we've gotten for this podcast on my personal Facebook. Uh, a lot of my friends are very big Gilmore Girls fans. Um, what was funny was that I, I had never seen it before the pandemic. Uh, my wife has been like a lifelong Gilmore <laughs> Girls fan. And um, what she would do is if I was busy working on something like working on my laptop, she would always have it in on the background. It's like our comfort show. Just it's always yeah. on whatever sees. I'm sure you've heard of this before. People just keep it on in the background. Yeah. Um, it's funny. And, you know, eventually I kind of started getting distracted by the show. Like when I was trying to get work done, I got like invested in these characters. And I'm like, you know what? I got to watch this from the beginning. I got to figure out what happens with these folks. Let's just watch it from the beginning. And I, I watched every episode. I watched the revival all throughout the pandemic. And I loved it. And I have to tell you, like, um, and, and I, I'm yelling at the TV and I'm getting really invested with, with these characters and some of the choices that they're making. And by season six, I was I was angry at everybody except for your character. I thought Mrs. Kim was the best part of season six, because when, when she turns into like the the band manager and she's like oh. giving advice about uh, like she she's pushing Zach to come up with a better song. Like, that's not good yeah. enough. You need to come up with a better yeah. song. My fingers are cramping. I'm totally fried. Run in place for a minute. Get the blood moving. Forget it. This is hopeless. What? I can't write a hit. OK, not with that attitude. You can't now pick up your guitar. Let me hear the last line of the chorus again. I'm like, man, like Mrs. Kim would be killing it in like the music industry or the movie industry. I, I just uh -huh. love that. So that was the highlight. I, was, I, I wasn't happy with other characters, but your character was the reason I enjoyed season six. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> so the some of the questions we got from Anita Warren wants to know, what kind of grandmother do you think Mrs. Kim was to Quan and Steve? I think she's the exact opposite of how she was with Lane. I think Lane turns into her mom and then I turn into the the kind doting grandma who who starts a band with the kids. And um yeah. <laughs> and we write music and songs together and we jam and I'm the cool. I'm the cool one. Just irony. It all comes full circle, you know? Yeah. And then Lane Lane is the one rolling her eyes at me now. 